projects on the boat and uh, that's why we put a lot of miles on bamboo this summer because we wanted to shake it out and almost break things which uh, we now our list is longer and uh, we have some engine things to take care of and what do you think? We're gonna go out and take a break from the action. We've been busy since we got back from Catalina. We've been working. There's a sunken boat out at the end of the point. Everybody saying it's about a 60 foot schooner and sank with its sails up. So we just want to go see it. Well, we might even get wet and get in the water and take the GoPro down and get some get footage there. of it. But if he doesn't want to, I did break my, I brought an extension pole. So I'll just uh, zip tie the camera to the extension pole and get as deep as I can get. Clear, but it's cold. We're, you know, it's not too cold. I, might cut off usually 68 degrees and you know it's 63 right now I can potentially drop my on my trunk. It's gonna be a fast dive but um a friend of ours actually showed us a picture of the boat he went out surfing the Ralph which is a surf break right on the point of Point Loma and uh it looked really creepy because the sails were even still up and we have a little bit of the story we got a little feedback today of what of what happened so we'll share that with you but we got a long dinghy ride and once we get out of once we get out of the little harbor here and into the main bay of san diego we'll, we'll be able to go full throttle so come join us watch the uh the sunken ship I don't know. 
know the name of it. A friend of ours was going to try to dive the boat today to see if he could get a name from it. So I'm sure over the next couple days we'll get more information as to who, you know, what the name of the boat was and who it was. Pretty creepy. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it is kind of eerie. <laughs> I, I don't think I would dive it. Thank you.